In this video, we will guide you how to log into your MicroDIC 260 GS Gigabit switch and upgrade its firmware. Let's start it to get your switch up to date and running smoothly. Let's start with MicroDIC 260 GS connection. Before logging in, ensure your MicroDIC switch is powered on and connected to your computer or network via Ethernet cable. Accessing the switch, open your web browser and type in the IP address of your MicroDIC 260GS. By default, the IP address is 192.168.88.1. The default username is admin and there is no password set by default. So, just leave the password field blank and click login. If you've set a custom username and password, Enter those credentials to log in. Before upgrading firmware download configuration backup. To backup your current settings, go to the system settings. Scroll down page to backup option. Press save backup file and select location you want download configuration file in the drive. Now download latest firmware. Check current firmware under system information. Now. You'll need to download the latest firmware from Microtech's official website. Open your browser and go to the Microtech download page. Scroll down page to SwitchOS. Search for your specific model, which in this case is the Microtech 260 GS. Download the latest firmware package compatible with your device. From right side floppy icon download firmware. Now that you have the firmware file, Go back to the MyCrotic 260GS web interface. Scroll download page to firmware upgrade. Choose firmware you downloaded and press upgrade button. It's important not to interrupt the upgrade process as this could cause issues with your switch. To make sure the firmware upgrade was successful, log back into the web interface. Under system and router as you should now see the new firmware version listed. After firmware upgrade, if you need to restore configuration, just go to System and Backup option. Select your backup file and press Restore Backup button. The device will begin restoring the settings from the selected backup file. This process may take a few moments and the switch will automatically reboot to apply the changes. And that's it. Your MyCritic 260 GS Gigabit switch is now running the latest firmware. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below.